Hey, guys. Hey, Ryan. Hey. hey. How you doing? Hey, sweetie. Mm -hmm. You need me on a case? Uh, no, not exactly. Uh, sort of some advice. Do you mind? No. Shoot. Who's the best lie detector investigator that you know? Um, uh, Garnet? Yeah, right? Yeah, but Why? I thought you had some top-notch people at the police department. Well, yeah, we do, but, um, I'm, that's sort of off-limits for me. Uh, this has got to be kept really secret. Um, well, my brother hired me to find out who's been leaking some phony rumors to the press. And... Oh, all that stuff about Vicky and Grant, huh? Yeah, so... But nobody is taking that seriously, though, are they? Well, his constituents might. And besides, if... If there's a traitor on Grant's team, he wants to know who it is. Great. Listen, that's all I came by for. Um, I've got your phone number. I'll give of you a call. Of course you do. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Take care, guys. Uh, Ryan, uh, uh, will we be receiving the invitations to the wedding soon? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you should be getting those invitations uh, any day now. Oh, great. You know, I got to tell you, Cass, this uh, whole uh, wedding planning stuff has been really fun. Really? Mm-hmm. Fun. You, planning a wedding. Get out of town, Harrison. Uh, no, really. It, I mean, this this wedding stuff is the best kept secret since uh, who shot Jr. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, you guys should try it again sometime soon. Again. Bye, Ryan. Yep. Yeah, hey, stay happy, huh? Uh. Hey, he sounds great, doesn't he? Two happy, happy people planning the event of a lifetime. Kind of makes you a little jealous and remorseful, though, doesn't it? You are so lucky you never went into the theater because both of you would have been booed right off the stage. What? That was the phoniest, baloniest setup I have ever seen, Cass. Set up? Yes, a setup. Tricky, I have heard I'm more. Hurt. Oh, are set you? I when did I have time to sit? Oh. Frankie, I'm sorry. I, I know I keep bothering you, too. What's oh, happened? Really silly. <clears throat> well, uh, I got my answer. Lorna is your daughter, isn't she? Helen D'Angelo confirmed it yesterday. Beyond a doubt, at least in my mind. What does that mean? Cass. Luke won't accept her. He says that he would know if she were his. Honey, that's just because of what just happened with Jenna. Give him some time. Once he lives no, with this... No, it's not going to matter, I'm telling you. He doesn't want anything to do with her. I really don't know how all this has happened. I... I don't know how my baby turned into this. Oh, there's nobody to blame. Yes, there is someone to blame. There is somebody responsible. It's the guy who picked her up when she was 13 years old. He's the one who has turned her into this. Cass, if only I knew who this was. There's no reason to tell anybody what I did for you, Carl. Maybe. But you watch your step. And watch your tongue. I did keep you out of prison, you know. But I didn't do anything. It's true that you didn't commit a felony, but you were most certainly an accessory before and after the fact. And had I chosen to implicate you, your prison term would have been commensurate with mine. I think you should be a little grateful for that. So is that what you're waiting for? A great big thank you? Now, Carl, I know that there was a time when you took care of me, and for that I am truly grateful. But I'm a big girl now, and d and is the only thing that I have left, and now, now you're threatening to take it away from me. Did I say that? I didn't say that, Lorna. You weren't listening to me. I said that I would apprise you of my decision when I chose to. That's all I said. Well, thank you. Now, on to brighter things. How's your trip to Sycamore, and how's your granny? You had me followed. Laura, my dear, you've forgotten the first and most basic rule of chess. What is it? You win by paying attention to every move every piece makes. You are my best pupil so far. We made a very good team. 
and we're not through yet. Paulina, I always try to respect my children's decisions, but I'm going to have to ask you your line of reasoning with this, because just a few months ago, this man was really hurting you. A lot has changed since then, Rachel, including Jake. That's what you said the last time, and then you married Except this man. Except I was the one who was lying last time, and Rachel. And he was blackmailing yes, you. Yes, I know. Look, this... I'm sorry, this is not the way I wanted to explain this. Well, you've always said that you're attracted to him. Is that what it, all this is? It isn't just that, believe me. In the past few months, Jake has changed. He really has. I work with a man. I see things nobody else does. I'll bet you do. Like what? He's kind. You should have seen the way he acted with Jenna after the video. It was like he was her big brother or something. Now, he had plenty of opportunity to fall back into the old Jake McKinnon routine with me and everyone else at d &M, But he didn't. And I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but it's like he's a different person. You're right. I'm finding this very and hard to believe. And the best part of it is... We're good for each other. Oh, Paulina? No. I know in my heart that Jake is the man I want to be with. And I feel as strongly about this as I have about anything in my life. Paulina, I've made some very willful decisions in my life, too. Some of them I regret to this day. About falling in love? Especially about falling in love. Hey, Jake, what's going on? Uh, my life is just hanging in the balance, that's all. Why is it? Paulina and I are back together. Oh, man, that's terrific. Congratulations. Well, this is the hard part right now. Let me guess. Paulina's telling Mom. Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh, well, good luck, pal. You're gonna need it. There's something that uh, really help out and be great if one of the, the family members was to go in there and go to bat for me. <laughs> 